thank you for joining me. These YouTube clips are a labor of love, and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do making them. The purpose is to help open up some doors, educate, but if they don't resonate with you, let them go and move on to the next. I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. So while we're at it, um, doing the, the next set of uh, videos, T came up with a really interesting concept. So we're going to have a little conversation here. So you're going to hear a disembodied voice. It's not spirit. It's T, okay? So you were talking about, and I'm going to look at her now, um, you were talking about enlightenment. So do you want to mention the question again? Yeah, so I was just wondering, um, so a lot of spiritual teachers talk about sort of a global shift in consciousness and um, almost implying that the world eventually may become enlightened at the same time. Everybody's just going to shift and, and be at a higher vibration altogether. Um, but then I'm thinking that kind of goes in contrast to the earth school concept of learning lessons and having, you know, having suffering, having hardship in order to grow spiritually. So I just wondered, uh, you know, how to reconcile those two mm -hmm. concepts. Well, I do believe that enlightenment is actually happening now. Um, uh, since 19, the 1950s, and it's going to take about 100 years. So about 2050, we should be in an enlightened state. I think this is why we have so many issues going on worldwide, is that we have a compare and contrast with the darker energies and the lighter energies. Yes, the world and the people on it can enlighten at the same time. Um, you see people worried about plastics now, and you see the young kids saying, hey, enough of the guns, and, and you know, they're, they're working hard, and they're very enlightened and, and determined to make this world a better place. There's also the spiritual growth as well. You know, people are looking to um, see what feeds their soul, and the conventions now are not working. This is what uh, drives them to learn more. But, you know, the overarching thing is, where are you in your spiritual growth? Everybody can in be enlightened, but how much of it can you take in? You know, how much do you understand that there is service out there and helping others and gratitude? Some of us will be pulled, kicking and screaming into enlightenment. They won't like it. I want to have the car. I want to have the house. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. But it just takes you off your path of enlightenment. So um, it goes together. So, you know, the Dalai Lamas and the Sai Babas of the world, the Mother Teresas, they are so fully enlightened that this enlightenment period of time is not going to be a problem for them. They get it because of all the learnings, all the lifetimes they've been here. But the ones that are newer, the ones that are believing in the physical world more than the spiritual world, they will be bombarded with opportunities to grow. It's just whether or not they, they want to, whether or not they are going to, and whether or not um, it will be a painful or easy process, totally up to their free will. So can you see how the two can work together? Did I, did I make that kind of... Is there an understanding there now? Yeah, yeah, that makes it far more clear. So then, there, actually, I have another question. Um, so, you know, can we still enjoy our cars and our clothes? Absolutely. <laughs> but don't make it a love, mm. you know? Um, yeah, it's nice to have the Mercedes. It's wonderful to have the Jaguar. It's lovely to have the five-bedroom house. But if it becomes a noose around your neck, think about that, you know? It, you should have a sense of wonder and love and joy in your life and um, peace too. And if you can have all those things that I just mentioned and enlightenment, more power to you. You've got it all. <laughs> uh, we've got it all, but I'll say the most important thing as I get older, worry about your health more than anything else. You know, uh, health is important to your happiness here on the planet. And if the car doesn't make you happy, find out something that does. That's what I mean by this. 
Go for it. Make yourself happy. Knock yourself out. And I'll leave you with that. Ha <laughs> ha